that's the reward of them. Uh, and so we need to explore whether those changes in responsibility um, will actually lead to some uh, change in remuneration. We need to explore that with uh, colleagues in, in uh, HR. Um, and that will form the business case. So we'll, we'll have a more fully formed business case once we have that information. I think if, if, if I can just uh, to uh, Again, to, to, because when we talk about the extension of contracts, um, I, I was keen to understand some of the reasons and some of the reasons where you know, it was beneficial to us, etc. The reason given here is capacity issues. Uh, that might have been historically. So, where are we now with that as a reason for contracts having to be uh, extended? It's a very valid, valid concept. I think probably the best thing for me to do is rather than speculate about how many cases there are now, whether there are capacity issues. So it could be capacity within the service department, sometimes capacity within vehicles, sometimes capacity within procurement, or a combination of all three. Um, but what we'll do is in terms of anything that we bring back to you in the future, uh, sorry, it, 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 that's a good piece of data, we'll tabulate that so we've got a clear understanding of what that is. Thank 
Tata um, has um, invited me to, to uh, portfolio holder briefings, and uh, I went along to the first one in, in December, and um, the chief executive of that point has suggested that um, it might be um, uh, productive to have a look at some of the most critical corporate risks in more detail uh, during those briefings. Um, I think we all accept that that would be very sensible move. Uh, and we're going to start uh, looking at the first uh, three uh, of the most highly rated risks at uh, tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow's uh, portfolio holder uh, briefing. Um, I just thought it would be useful for the committee to know that there is an additional area of scrutiny being exercised over the number of corporate risks. Um, corporate governance groups are in the first couple of times uh, during tonight's uh, meeting. They also provide support to uh, CSG on the corporate risk register and on corporate risk management arrangements as well. Uh, so what I tend to do is uh, I provide a draft of a report I can take to um, CSG. So that would be first, get the comments, amend this, and then it goes on to, um, to CSG and then perhaps more for the comments. Um, that was probably what I was going to say on the report itself. There is as I said, quite a significant attachment to the, uh, 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 to the report. What I was going to do is maybe just highlight to you um, a very brief in my thoughts on it. Uh, overall, I think we, we are making very good progress on the actions we take to deal with the risks. There are some where uh, we're not making quite as much progress as we might want or hope for. And I'm just going to sort of uh, touch upon some of those very, very briefly um, for you. Um, the problem is that we've got on page 56. Um, we are making progress in some areas, but there are some sort of particular actions that uh, you know, just for sometimes capacity and sometimes other reasons um, we've not been able to progress um, as far as we might want. Um, on the insufficient skills, just um, on page 61, there are obviously actions that we're taking around the other program about appraisals, and I think probably members are aware that in, in those areas, um, performance isn't as high as we might want it to be. So I will flag that up for you as well. Um, in terms of um, offender and health and safety, on page 63. Again, generally things are going well, but colleagues in the team have just said that with some of the, the changes and, um, that's going on around the organisation, sometimes it's struggle to have some of the, we get to get some courses run at the times that they would like or reach what the people are going to do. Um, procurement, uh, page um, 63 as well. Um, there is a plan, obviously, to get the procurement team back on track. Um, there have been additional resources brought in to the team to better bolster capacity. Um, but it's still early days, you know, they, 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 they are doing an awful lot. And we need to still want to you know, I'm going to perhaps to your, your attention just as uh, I think to keep an eye on. And uh, lastly, we need to IT system failure risk on by the Technically, things are really well, um, really well. The, the, the sort of robot program in the it is, it is doing well. Um, but in terms of an overall um, continuity plan and a contingency plan, things are a little bit behind schedule, um, uh, so I've been told by IT colleagues. Um, so again, I thought I'd just flag those, uh, those up for you. Partly to take waiting through.
speaking to um, the bad information uh, by example, um, there is obviously you know, that there has been those delay calls which I think have got the person into the system, that person is staying on it, but they have got um is it Barrington? Well it was to to support that now. Um, I don't have the, the sort of detailed action plan um, to
um, the content starts to take it from them effectively. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm assuming that actually we are not going to be timescalers. That's that's on our side. I don't know what the timescale is. I'm just assuming it. I don't know. Um, I also don't know what the, the extent is. We talk about an enormous rise. So, I guess the risk isn't so much that we uh, we won't need application within timescales, but we will not be the timescale. Uh, if the clock starts to take when it's pretty good, it is, as opposed to the clock ticking where the deprivation of the UK pounds uh, or, or should have become pounds under the, you know, the, new, the new rules. I mean, in terms of page 76, you know, it's clearly a, possibly a way of progress. Uh, the risk score to be scored obviously added very quickly. It has now been scored clearly as a trial. Uh, progress from this way? And you actually have. We, uh, we prepare the report, so um, I would be happy to um, circulate that to the uh, members now or, or email that on um, as, as appropriate. Um, if, if I could just say very briefly on that, um, they have brought in additional resources into the team. They are training lots of people to be able to do the assessments that are required. Um, the remains, and it will be the, the update that I'll send you, but the remains are significant backlog of assessments turned down the respect of that, which is why it's which does I think still need a degree of uh, industry care and watching from, from my perspective. Yeah, I, I think, I think my, uh, my point is if there's a time scale, the clock starts to take it presumably there, but presumably we're outside the time scale. So the risk isn't so much doing it within the time scale, but prioritising them in terms of um, which are the higher risk of, of challenge. Against the decision that social services have made and the respective deprivation of some sort of. So, would you mean that? Would you? It struck me looking at the judge as far as, 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 far as one can understand the Supreme Court judge piece of paper that it applies to everybody. So, everybody in theory has a, a, has a right to, uh, to challenge the decision that's been made about them. Um, or presumably their care or what have you, uh, 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 has, has that But obviously not everyone's going to make that challenge. Uh, but there might be a group of people where, where maybe they won't have to start with. You know what I mean? It's, it's that sort of prioritising that strikes me as the risk, as opposed to the timescale where, again, I'm assuming, I don't know, that's something you can tell me. Um, we, we must be outside the timescale time because I can't imagine that it's, um, I, I did look at the thing, I, I wrote the data and it's not clear on the uh, But if, it, it's, if, it, if we went to the Chief group in November, you know, that's like four months away. Well, presumably that was only actually to a Supreme Court judgment a number of months before then, you know, so we're probably about six, seven months down the line. I can't imagine that an assessment process would be allowed to take about seven months. I think the point about prioritisation is a very valid one. One of the things that the department has done is to get access to a prioritisation tool, which is being used now around the country, to do exactly that again, which ones uh, probably ought to be kind of escalated and dealt with uh, more quickly and others that perhaps you know, it would be reasonable to allow you know, to take a little bit more time. So both uh, competing on prioritisation is, is one of the key issues here. Yeah, sorry, sorry, I think Chair, just to speak against the regional members, um, that's haven't been waiting for any kind of permission as it were to undertake these. They've been prioritising since the days of the Supreme Court judgment. Uh, so they have been dealing with it. I think it's just that we've recognised as an organisation the need to escalate this still further through the expansion process. I mean, in, in the spread of information, the depth of it, you like to report, and I'm not sure after.
5th of December, the magistrate approved the authorization to use the website to detect suspected criminal damage in housing council staff. Thank you. 
but also has achieved a, a approximate £95,000 per hour of savings at council. Do you um, have any questions on the report? Thank you. Thank you. Um, obviously, the saving money is great, and so the recommendations are just endorse the decisions. Uh, so, in terms of saving 2.15 million, yeah, brilliant. Uh, who, who wouldn't? Um, my only concern is sort of the report was all money and no sort of about the provision or the service or assessments have been done to make sure that you know, we said £90,000. It's exempt, apparently. It is exempt. The details of the savings are on exempt penalties. My turn. You have to ask the question later. I'm not going to get rid of it. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for sure. Well, it's all a sludge. It's all a sludge. You don't mind mentioning the service provider. No. Yeah. To get an answer, I guess. No, I need to. 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 I